MSTE module 1 so to begin with this special product formulas so please um, memorize this or at least man lang know this um, basic data okay so actually in board exam we don't need to memorize this all because my choices naman and we can back solve the problems okay so anyways um, for the purpose of teaching we, we can use that um, later on okay so from for pro problem one we need to factorize these problems dito so diretso na tayo uh, we will um, use our calculator okay so we will not go any further dito because napaka compress ng time natin sa academy okay so using the calculator actually that is a quadratic equation so we can use quadratic equation sa calculator okay so nandito yan sa mode then um, equation 5 then um, quadratic press down arrow key that is quadratic equation 1 quadratic meaning naka squared yung function natin so that is uh, ilagay natin yung coefficient nya coefficient ng x squared that is 1 then coefficient ng x is negative 7 and the coefficient of the constant is 6 lang okay and press equals so we have these roots x sub 1 is 6 and x sub 2 is 1 actually we can use the um, quadratic equation formula okay but for me um, we should maximize the our calculator no since ito naman calculator na to is allowed sa PRC powerful yung cal calculator natin dito okay so if we have those um, roots meaning the factor of this one is this one x minus 1 and x minus 6 ito yung factor uh, factored form ng um, ng this equation okay that one now problem 2 the same pa rin do we need to even con this use the uh, calculator i think hindi na no take note that x is present of this on these two so we can factor our x here and simply like that okay simple lang we don't need to use the calculator na dito okay now this one okay so again using our calculator diretso na tayo um balik tayo dito okay that is the same for enough for mode 5 equation then press down we have this quadratic equation okay actually yung calculator na natin can solve at least quartic equation or yung may apat na roots raised to 4 kayang kaya ng calculator natin okay so kaya um, i-maximize lang natin ito because hindi naman talaga masyadong lalabas yung ganito mga problem sa board exam okay pero at least alam natin paano si solve so we have this 6 coefficient nya next negative 7 and negative 5 so we have these factors 5 over 3 and negative 1 half so if we have those factors x sub 1 and x sub 2 okay what is the factored form of this okay so ito yun diba if we will um, transpose this dito magiging x um x plus one half ito x plus one half so i multiply natin yung term by two para uh, maging linear siya lahat walang denominator okay dito naman magiging x minus five thirds then i multiply natin yung term na dito by three para maging linear nga okay three x minus five and that is the answer okay i hope you got this now another example factor this out now in this case as you can see um, we have two variables na can we use the calculator actually we can also use that okay let me show you again ang balik pa rin okay so i-edit lang natin yung data kanina so ganun lang 1 and 2 and negative 8 again medyo mabilis tayo ha? at hindi natin kayang itackle lahat ng prob uh, topic sa algebra because limited yung time natin dito sa academy. Okay, at least man lang may mga um, basic tayong mapulot dito. Okay, now we have this. Roots 2 and negative 4. Okay, so 2 and negative 4. Now, ano yung gagawin natin dito? Take note, dalawa yung variables. So, ganito lang yan. The same pa rin. 
x minus 2, but lagyan natin yan ng y. Then x, again, trans transpose, plus 4, and lagyan natin yan ng y. Yan yung answer niya. Okay, walang problema kahit may dalawang variables dyan. Basta quadratic equation yan. Okay? Now, this one naman. Problem 5. Factor 4x squared minus 9y squared. So, ito na. How can we uh, factor this out? Okay, so, let me show you this, no? The manual calculation. Di ba, as you can see, we can rewrite this. Can, can we use the calculator ba dito? Um... I think we can use, no? But in this case, uh, let me show you the manual calculation. Um, 4x squared minus 9y squared. Diba we can rewrite this into ganito? By using this formula, parang ito yung equation na, I mean the special product na uh, katugma dito. Look at this. We can rewrite this into ganito. Diba? I-factor out natin yung 2. Ganito siya. 2x squared is just equals to, distribute this, magiging 4x squared and uh, ganito 4x squared then ito naman if we will distribute this power that will be 9 3 squared that will negative 9y squared and as you can see this is in the form of the special product formula this one a squared minus b squared the difference of these two squares okay so our a here represents 2x our b represents 3y so if we will do this this term will be like this ito yung factorization natin and that is a, yung A natin is 2X, B is 3Y, okay, nag-follow lang nat, uh, nan tayo dito, A is 2X minus 3Y, and that is the answer. Okay, or we can use the calculator siguro. Okay, let me show you this. Again, we will edit the data na lang. We have the units, I mean the coefficient here of X is 0. The coefficient of the middle term, yung my XY, so take note walang XY dito, that should be 0. And the coefficient of the y squared is negative. Um, negative 9, of course. Okay, so press equals. So we have 3 halves, x1 and x2. As you can see, no? I transpose natin and ito yung lalabas na answer. Okay, we can use parent the calculator dito pala. Okay. Now, ito naman. x cube, y cube, minus 1. How can we solve this one? Okay, so, let me show you this in manual calculation. Maybe we can use the calculator para dito. But let me show you this, okay? So, take note, para ma-emphasize natin yung special product formulas lang. Uh, take note that it will be in this form. We can use the special product formula dito. Do you agree with this? Okay, look at this, ha? Diba, this one can be re re rewritten ito ganito. We can rewrite this ito ganito. If factor out natin yung cube, this cubic equation, this cube, so magiging ganito yan, 2xy quantity cube. Because um, 2 raised to 3 is 8. Pag ibabalik natin to dito. Do you agree? Minus 1 raised to cube or 1 raised to 3. So as you can see, this will be in the form of the special product formula, the difference of the cube. Okay, so we have a cube minus b cube. So this term, 2xy represents the a and 1 represents the B natin. Okay, so it will be transformed into ganito. Okay, just follow lang this. Our A here is 2XY. A, 2XY, minus B. B is 1. Then, A squared. So, A, take note, that is 2XY squared plus A times B. So, A is 2XY, B is 1, plus B squared. Ganyan. Then, um, simplify lang. Okay? And this will be the answer. Okay, so, pero medyo mahirap pala siya gawin sa calculator, no? Okay, so ganito lang siya. Actually, we can trial and error, no? Because in the board exam, my choices naman. You can just do the trial and error. So, ganito yan. Pag, okay, let me show you lang, no? Now, uh, take note, in the board exam, may apat na choices tayo. If this, um, ito yung... Um, binigay na problem, okay? Factor this out, and we have four choices, and nakalimut na natin ano yung pan pano natin i-factor out ito. So, ang gagawin natin, uh, of course, this should be in the one of the choices sa board exam. Okay? Ito yun. Nasa, it, nasa isang choices ito. For example, ito. Okay? So, hindi natin alam, no? 
we will do trial and error. For example, okay, this is the question. So, that is 8. Ganito yung gagawin natin. 8 alpha x um, cube um, y cube then alpha y cube minus 1. Okay. Just input the original equation muna. Now, we will let any values of x and y. Okay, look at this. Ha? If I will press count, uh, let's say x is 1 and y gawin kung 2 or 3 ba? Okay? Basta, tandaan nyo ano yung ginamit nyo sa x and y. This is 2, 1, 5. So, this whole term here, if we let x and y as 1 and 3, that should be 2, 1, 5. Now, this term here should be also 2, 1, 5 if we will substitute x and y dito. Okay? If we substitute natin yung x and y, that is 1 and 3, dapat 2, 1, 5 din yung lalabas dito because these are equals. Dapat equal sila. Okay? I hope you got the logic na. Okay? So, dapat 2, 1, 5 yung makuha natin. So, using this, um, if this is in the letter D, syempre, trial and error ka sa choices. Okay? Diretso na tayo dito since wala tayong choices. Okay, so 2xy minus 1, 4x squared, um, y squared, um, plus 2xy plus 1. Okay, ganito yan. So if we will press calc, again, we let the value as x. I mean, x as 1, then y as 3, dapat the same siya na makuha dito. I hope nakuha nyo yung, ano, yung purpose natin sa pag-trial and error. Kasi mas mabilis tayo minsan. Pag sobrang complicated ng, ng equation natin or, or ng polynomial to, uh, to be factored out, mas maiging gamitin natin yung choices then do trial and error para mas mabilis. Okay? Okay, I hope you got that, no? Now, how about this problem 7? Factor this out. 64, x raised to 4, y raised to 4, and, and gidiretsya ko na, no? Ito yung simplified form niya. Diba? This can be can, uh, this can be factored out in this form. Diba? 8, raise, 8 squared is, is 64, excuse me. Then, factored out at 10, y squared, y squared. It is the same. Now, as you can see, um, if we observe, no, it is in the form as a squared plus b squared. But do we have a squared plus b squared in this special product formula? Yan yung tanong natin. Okay, so we don't have a squared plus b squared. We only have a squared minus b squared, the difference of square. So, ano yung gagawin natin dito? Okay, look at this. We only have this one. a plus b squared it will be factored out or it will be in the form na ganito. We have this one, a plus b squared. But, this form is a squared plus b squared. Take note, magkaiba iyan. Dito is naka, nakalagay yung a plus b natin in one um, parenthesis. Ito, iba-iba sila. Okay, ito yung a, ito yung b. So, how can we do that? Okay, ganito yan. Look at this. If this is a squared, this is b squared, we will um, transpose this sa kabila. Okay, and magiging ganito yan. A squared plus B squared, again, transpose this. So, A plus B squared minus 2AB. So, for now, we have this um, form na. A squared plus B squared. From the special product formula pa rin. But, nagmanipulate tayo ng equation. Okay? So, this pala, this one, A squared plus B squared, can be um, factor out to ganito. Quantity A plus B squared minus 2AB. So, our A here is at 8 x squared. Our y here is, I mean, b is y squared. So, substitute dito. Okay, so a is 8x squared. b is y squared. Na quantity squared minus 2. Yung a natin dito is 8x squared. Yung b is y squared. Okay. And, we can simplify this pag ganito. Okay, 2 times 8 is 16. Now, can this one be factored out? Again, parang makikita nyo man, no? Yung kanya. Yung parang um, form. Look at this. 
um, this one squared minus whole this term is squared. So it is in the form in of the difference of squares. Okay, so take note that we can rewrite this into ganito. Okay, we can factor out this squared dito. 4x squared. Okay, that is just if we will distribute this power here, that will be 4 squared is 16. Magiging x squared, magiging y squared. Now again, this is in the form of difference of squares. Okay, and our a here is this whole term na. Okay, klaro? And our b here is this whole term, 4xy. So just follow this term here, uh, this um, uh, equation here. So a is this one. Okay, a plus b. So this is a, yung b natin is 4xy, this one. Again, this is a, then b is 4xy. And that is the answer. Okay, now I want you to practice this problem. Solve this problem x raised to 6 minus y raised to 6. Okay, I will give this to you.